Welcome to Legacy Week GX Edition, a week where I will be revisiting six of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX most epic sets released between the years 2006 to 2008. Each day I will open one of these epic sets, starting with Shadow of Infinity and ending with Light of Destruction and a first edition blister pack. Every day I will also include a giveaway with some epic cards. Which set has what it takes to earn the title of Legacy Week GX Champion? You will just have to watch to find out. What is up, everybody? We are here with day one, kind of day one, because we did that like pre-day one where we opened some uh, Legendary Collection GX, but of Legacy Week GX Edition, we are kicking it off with Shadow of Infinity, where we will be opening, this is 18 packs. I don't have as many packs as I would like for this. I mean, it'd be great if we had like 24, 30, you know, but 18, I think will suffice like 75% of a box. We have a lot of cards that we have not pulled out, out of these sets. So starting it off with Shadow Infinity, you guys know we've never pulled the Sacred Beast. So that's the main goal for day one today. We are starting it off with a giveaway as well. We have a bunch of GX cards, Cyber Ogre 2, Crystal Seer, and Rare Value, all ultra rares from GX sets. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think will be the best opening from Legacy Week GX Edition. And let me know down below which set will have the best pulls in Legacy Week. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start off. We're gonna take it slow we're gonna try to pull a sacred beast for the first time we have many awesome sets coming up like phantom darkness light destruction tactical evolution and of course we have a lot of great sets coming later this week including gladiators assault light of destruction and uh like what why do i keep wanting to say legacy no phantom darkness not legacy of destruction okay those will be coming later this week as cool as well as some duelist packs as well which should be pretty fun to open up so let me know what you think about legacy week gx if you want to see legacy week 5ds at some point something like that we can maybe make it happen okay shadow of infinity one two three four and if you guys want to support the channel don't forget to check out rucks 34.com i have a lot of amazing stuff for sale over there some 5d stuff a couple gx things parasite tiki all right let's see what we can pull we have miracle kids hero kid Trial of the Princesses, Magnet Circle Level 2, Ancient Gear, The Samsara, Disciple of Forbidden Spell, and we have... Oh, an Ultimate Rare! Princess Karan, first pack of Legacy Week GX. We are pulling an Ultimate Rare. That's how you kick off Legacy Week right there. Ultimate Rare, Princess Karan. That is beautiful. All right, I'm not mad about that. You cannot be mad about an ultimate rare right off the bat. That is a heck of a way to start this thing. Okay, next pack, what a great start. I mean, I could not have uh, asked for a better start than an ultimate rare right off the bat. I mean, okay, the only thing I could ask for would have been a sacred beast. It doesn't have to even be an ulti, just an ultra would be pretty cool. But just to break our streak, it's never been done on the channel. One, two, three, we've only pulled the cyber laser. That's the only ultra we've ever pulled. Attack Reflector Unit. We have Ancient Gear Cannon, the Cannon of Gear. Grass Phantom, that is a creepy VeggieTales character right there. Uh, Hero Heart, Samsara. Gokipon, little ant guy. End of the world, he looks like he could be part of like ants or Bugs Life or something. End of the world. Tinkabito Shan, the uh, knockoff Wild Heart. And we have Option Hunter. I will be hunting for more options such as Sacred Beasts. All right, next pack. Pack number three, Numero Trace. Let's try to pull something crazy. We have almost 100 packs to be open this week in GX Legacy Week. Uh, it should be a pretty epic time. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Success probability zero. I mean, it's already been a great start having an ultimate rare. Let me know in the comments how many ultimates, like high rarity cards will we pull in all the whole week. So you already have one. So I, I, I spotted you one right there. So see if you can guess the number in the comments. Try the princesses. We have Hero Kate, Tinkabito Shein, End of the World, Yogi Pawn, Samsara. Oh, and there it is! The first ever Sacred Beast has been pulled on the channel! Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder! Let's go! The Ultra Rare has been pulled! Let's go! Legacy Week GX Edition. I knew this was a good idea. Oh my goodness. It's just an unlimited ultra. I know it's not crazy priced or anything, but we have opened so many packs of Shadow of Infinity without pulling a single one of these, whether it be Raviel, Uriah, or Haman. So pulling any of them in any version in it, first adder unlimited is amazing. So this is off to an amazing start. Haman with a really incredible artwork. 
These are such cool cards. Oh, we did it. The Lord of Striking Thunder, the Thunder Monster. That is so awesome. What an incredible start to this Legacy Week and video. Okay, I, I, I'm I feeling, I don't even know how I'm feeling right now. I mean, I've never been so excited to pull an Unlimited Ultra before. That is so cool. We finally did it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we pulled it this quickly. 18 packs. I was like, that's eh, not a lot of packs, but guess what? We already pulled an Ultimate Rare and Haman. That is crazy. Dare we ask for Uriah and Raviel. Now I guess our, our new goal on Shadow Infinity is Uriah and Raviel. Like to pull them at some point. Or pull an ulti of one of them. But I think these are retail, so I don't think we can actually get an ulti uh, Sacred Beast out of these. Uh, but they also could just be mixed packs as they're loose, but I doubt it. But I don't really know exactly where every single pack came from. I know where, well, I know where these packs came from, but I don't know where they came from before that. You know what I mean? Dust Frog, we have Silent Insect. Next to be Lost, Tinkabito Shian. Ancient Gear Drill. Generation Shift. We have Saber Beetle. We have, man. I don't even know. Let's just go for it. Adhesive Explosive. Okay, just a rare. Wow. Legacy Week GX Edition. What a time. What a time. Oh my gosh. This is insane. What a start. One, two, three, four from the back. We have Miracle Kids. Parasite Tiki. Parasitic Tiki. We have Success Probability Zero. We're like 100% because we have succeeded in this video. Hero Heart. A mod's probably worth like three bucks or something. No, I think it's, it's probably more than that. I don't know what it is. Beals Frog. We have the Chain Thrasher. Tinka Beato Sheehan. Knock off Wild Heart. And here we go. Nope. Next one. Anti Gear Drill. And now here we go. Princess Pikaru. Wait. Princess Karen. How many princess cards are there? They look very similar. Okay, I mean, we're only a six packs in, something like that. We got a, we got a long way to go, but did it. yes, we finally did it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for you guys to see this video. One, two, three, four. That's crazy. That it took, I mean, 18 loose packs. I mean, we opened two first head booster boxes at a time one time. We probably opened six total boxes. I mean, it's crazy how many, how much Shadow of Infinity we've opened without the luck. Death Frog, we have Magnet Circle level two. Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, Ancient Gear, Full Salvo, and we have, okay, Phantasm Martyrs, that's a cool rare. The ultimate rare looks really beautiful, that card. The value is not really there with it, but it's really cool, at least looking. So, you know, sometimes that's that's really a big part of it as well. It's not all about the value, etc. which, you know, some people seem to forget sometimes. Okay, let's keep it going. One, two, three. There's a fine balance between value, collectability, playability. You know, there's a solid balance between all that stuff. Elemental Hero Neo Bubble Man. We have Parasitic Tiki, Miracle Kids, Hero Kid, Ancient Gear, Full Salvo, the Tinga Beat of Shian, Knock Off Wild Heart, End of the World, and we have... Ooh, a Chainsaw Insect. Okay, I thought that was an ulti for a second. I was like, ooh, another ulti. That'd be pretty awesome if we got another ulti. I'd be pretty happy with that. Shadow of Infinity, you've been good to us so far. So, no no cover card, Raviel. I'm just throwing that out there. Haven't pulled that before. I mean, you guys know that. We've pulled him on, though. One, two, three, four. We have pulled him on. That card looks sick. That card looks really nice. Next to be lost, we have Silent Insect. DES Frog, the Death Frog. We have Photon Generator Unit, Super Junior Confrontation, little Super Smash Bros. This is like a, a summoning salt video right here. That looks like Punch Out or something. Saber Beetle, uh, Magna Circle Level 2, Disciple of Forbidden Spell, and we have. Oh! Romeo! Lord of Phantasms! There's no way! We have pulled the cover card now! Two Sacred Beasts in one open! And we've now pulled two in less than 10 bags. Oh my gosh, that is insane. There is no way this is happening. Legacy week, GX edition. Will any other set be able to live up to this? I highly doubt it. I mean, how do you even top this? Raviel, oh my goodness. This is nuts. Raviel and Hamad in the same video. Like literally, we had 18 packs. We still have three, six, nine, 10. We've opened eight packs. Eight packs. If we get Uriah in this opening, it, all bets are off. I might pass out. This is insane. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do. Like we have already pulled an ulti and two sacred beasts in eight packs. I haven't been this excited in a while for an opening. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is crazy. Like if we get Uriah, has that ever happened? All three? I'm sure somebody's done it, but wow. 
all three in 18 packs would just be the most ridiculous thing, especially after how many packs we've already opened before. All right, Legacy Week GX Edition. By the way, there will be a playlist at the end of the video. Uh, this one, you know, there's only a couple of videos so far, but as we, you know, do the whole week, it'll end up in one playlist. So if you guys want to go back and revisit everything or you know, start from the beginning or whatever, you guys can do that. So, wow. Oh my gosh. What a crazy week of Legacy Week. And we will have a counter on the screen for like values and stuff. We'll compare them throughout all the videos. So this will be video one. Legacy, like Legacy Collection, no, le Legendary Collect. These Legacy and, le and Legendary are really throwing me off. That does not count. The Legendary Collection GX uh, is not going to be involved because, you know, that's going to have a huge advantage. Okay, success probability zero. Can we get the Uriah? I mean, at this point, that's what I'm asking for. DD Guide. I mean, I just expect it might happen. Silent Insect, Magnus Circle Level 2, Sand Moth, Super Junior Confrontation, and Cyber Forbidden Spell. Another Chainsaw Insect. Okay, he's back. He's back for more. Woo! Halfway through the... We're only halfway through the opening. <laughs> only halfway. I'm dying right now. I woke up. My throat was killing me. And I was like, I need to record before I lose my voice or something. And I, that this didn't help. I'm just going to throw that out there. It didn't help at all. Okay, Malice is sending. And the thing about this set is you can't tell at all that there's a foil coming. Like, sometimes you, it looks like maybe there's something coming up. This, there's nothing. It just looks like a common. Into gear, we have Grass, Phantom, the Scary Veggie Tales, Saber Beetle, Magnus Circle, Level 2, Sovereign Forbidden Spell. I got to make sure we're recording this. Ancient Gear, and here we go. Ch Chainsaw Insect. Okay. What does that mean? You're pulling so many chainsaw insects. Is that a sign or something? I don't know. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe our luck. One, two, three, four. Can we get Uriah? We have an elemental hero, Neo Bubble Man, Parasitic Tiki, Miracle Kids, Hero Kid, the Ancient Gear Drill. Watch out. Machine King Prototype, Super Junior Confrontation. Saber Beetle, and here we go. Give us another chance. Said he's an explosive. Okay, rare. You know what's weird? We've only pulled Ultra and Ulti. No supers yet. Interesting. Okay, still some packs left. I'm already worn out. Oh no, that's the first one we've kind of destroyed that pack. Already we've done really well. We've popped off. We've got some good stuff. We have Ancient Gear Factory, uh, the Scary Veggie Tales. A lot of the same cards. Stack Reflector Unit. I actually had this in my deck back in the day, which, by the way, I have a video about my old deck. Go check it out. Sixth grade deck or something. I've done a couple of videos about it, but I had that in there for Cyber Barrier Dragon, which turned out to be an ulti. I didn't know what ultis were back then, but I had an ulti. Sand Moth, Super Junior Confrontation, Cyber the Forbidden Spell, Symbol of Heritage, and we have a uh, Phantasmal Martyrs. That's okay. Bunch of rares. I mean, we've already kind of done what we need to do in this video we've already kind of done that six packs left we are two-thirds of the way through the video there are still four more days of legacy week gx edition guys uh this is only the first day i don't even know what we're gonna do after this it's gonna get wild it's gonna get crazy i mean one two three four can we get all three a sacred beast attack reflector unit scary veggie tales guy he's in every pack dd guy that used to be two bucks success probability zero ancient gear drill Beals Frog, Saber Beetle, Full Salvo. Okay, come on. Here we go. Princess Corant. We've seen that one in Ultimate Rare form. All right. Five packs. No, it's not six. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I think the only problem with GX, like these early sets, is the sets are tiny. So you see a lot of the same cards. So 18 packs might be the perfect amount. So we don't see. Oh, Trial of the Princesses. We haven't seen too much. Ancient Gear Factory. Ant Eater Eating Ant. We haven't seen that yet. Next to be lost. That's a classic. Saber Beetle. Magnet level two. I meant the Anteater eating Ant, not the it's next to be lost. Okay. Ant, Sand Moth. Uh, Super Junior Confrontation. And Memory Crusher. All right. Another rare. We are raring it up. Four packs left in the opening. I mean, it's possible all the big hits were at the beginning. It's crazy. We had three huge hits, and they were all at the very beginning. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Unless we have a fourth big hit, then then it could like, you know, it's just throwing us off the set. It's like, yeah, you're going to get big hits. Then you're going to forget that you can get another big hit. They're going to throw one at the end. DD guide, silent insect. Let's go. Malice Ascendant, Photon Generator Unit, Magnus Circle Level 2, Sand Moth, Super Junior Confrontation, Decide with the Forbidden Spell, and we have Karma Cut. That'd be actually a really sick rare or uh, ultimate rare. I would really like that. All right. 15 out of 18 down. Three huge pulls and no little pulls, just huge pulls. I'm okay with that. I'm down. If we just get the huge pulls, that's all I need. Shadow of Infinity, four from the back. We have next to be lost, Elemental Hero Neo Bubble Man, Ancient Gear Factory, Grass Phantom, Symbol of Heritage, Machine King Prototype, 
Bill's Frog, Symbol of Heritage. Oh, okay, Ritual. This could be Ruin. This could be uh, Demise. Okay, Ruin. All right, Ruin. It can't be the ulti because it's a retail, I think, most of the time. So I was like, eh, you know, Ruin's cool and super rare, but not, I mean, after what we, I mean, I'm not, I'm just, after what we've gotten excited about, you can't really get excited about, I mean, it's like cool and it's like complimentary. It's great. We just pulled two sacred beasts, you know? <laughs> so it's like, great, Ruin. Thank, go, glad you're here, but I'm not going to go crazy about you or anything. Two packs. Oh my goodness. All right. Rituals. I think that was the only two rituals that could have been there. I think. I don't think there's any commons. Uh, attack Reflector Unit. Veggie Tails. Back at it again. DD Guide. Success probability 0%. Saber Beetle. We have Magnet Circle Level 2. Cyber the Forbidden Spell. Ancient Gear. And we have Option Hunter leaving us with one pack left for this week of Legacy Week GX. This day of Legacy, day one, I guess you could call it, day 1.5, whatever you want to say. But there's still a lot of videos coming up. We still have some potential, like, honest, Dark Arm Drag. I mean, stuff that could be as good as some of the Sacred Beast stuff. But, I mean, getting two in one video, that's going to be tough. That's going to be really tough. I don't know if they're going to be able to top this. The, in terms of the value, though, we're going to have that for every, every video. I don't know what the value is for two unlimited Ultra Sacred Beasts, so... I mean, like a secret dad could probably beat those. So we'll have to see if that happens. Ant Eater Eating Ant, Last Pack Magic. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for Legacy Week GX Edition. Uh, you're, there's going to be a lot more videos coming up. And for, of course, other crazy stuff coming up as well. Don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com to support the channel. Let's go Ant Eater Eating Ant. Next to be Lost, Silent Insect, Death Frog, Sand Moth, Super Junior Confrontation, Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, Symbol of Heritage, and... Princess Koran. It ends just where it began. Okay. Honestly, can't be mad about that. I mean, that is one of our best openings we've had in quite a while. So I'll see you guys in the next Legacy Week GX Edition video. Shout out to Toll Info Show, Ernesto Diana, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengling, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.